And we see LeBron James and we go, whoa, he can really do it, right? And we know how hard it is. And it's fun to watch him and we get entertained. So he gets $100 million, who cares, right? right? Because we're being entertained. And we get what he does. And we get that what he does is hard because we tried it and we can't do it, right? And there are few actors that make a lot of money, not a lot, right? Most actors make very little money. It's like the few superstars make a huge amount of money. And again, we're entertained by them. And we smile or we say we're sad or we're, you know, usually just depressed after going to one of their movies, right? Um, not because the movie's depressing, because. Uh, so the fact that they're making a lot of money you know, doesn't trouble us because we see the benefit we get. But what the hell does a hedge fund manager even do? He's a paper shuffler, right? And from, from at least 2,000 years, we've been taught that finance guys are just crooks, right? It's just they're all thieves. They just, they just manipulate paper and they manipulate stuff and they, they make money from money. Even Aristotle thought that was bad, right? Because money was barren, he would say. Money doesn't create children, right? It can't multiply like seeds or, or animals. So money shouldn't be able to make more money. So he didn't understand, right? But we have this perception of how can a finance guy benefit my life? No. We actually, when we look at businessmen, we actually perceive it as a zero-sum game. Hey, I, I'm $300 poor because I bought an iPhone. Now, it's easy to explain the iPhone, and that's why people have some sympathy towards Apple, and they kind of like Apple, and Apple's okay, right? But it's those evil finance guys, because finance is a higher-level abstraction. It's more difficult to understand. So if you produce something concrete, you can hide behind that concrete product, like, like the iPhone. Or, or Microsoft software or something, and we all use it. But what do you do when you do finance? Or what do you do when you do IP law? How do you, how do you, you, know, how do you explain that? It's very abstract. Now, if you study economics, or so you study these things, you know that you can't have an iPhone without hedge funds, ultimately, right? So without a robust, free, dynamic financial industry, there is no production of real products. But that's a high level of abstraction that very few people ever reach. And nobody talks about it, including the financiers. They never defend themselves. And we have a this culture since Jesus threw the money changes out of the temples, right, of uh, uh, suspicion about, about money and, and about bankers and about finance. And, and there you have it. So the more abstract what you do is, the more difficult it is for people to get, the more they resent it. And then remember, the intellectuals are constantly telling people, those, it's those guys over there. They're at fault. They did it. They screwed you, right? So it's reinforced constantly by the intellectual class. And they're at the end of the day at fault. Because at least in America in the old days, people didn't resent people with money. They didn't resent wealth. They only started resenting wealth when they were taught to resent wealth by the intellectuals.